Hi, I'm Cash, and today we're going to talk a little bit about this Everton nonsense where they've been uh, deducted 10 points from immediate effect uh, for breach of the uh, Premier League's profit and sustainability rules. Yes, Everton have been, you know, uh, found guilty of breaking this rule. Now, of course, remember the actual uh, sustainability rule. What does that mean? Sustainability. That's This rule is really in place so your club doesn't go bankrupt because you're a moron and you've come in with lots of money because you've come up to the Premier League from the Championship. This was the purpose of the rule. So you don't blow your load in one season and your club goes bankrupt from all the debt that you create from going up. The sustainability of your club. However, when you've got Everton and you've got a mega rich club, um, they weren't really fussed about the sustainability. So uh, that rule's not really for them. So what are they really breaking here? They spent a little bit too much, overinflated their assets, and that's going to be the point of contention here. Here. So they're up for one charge. They've overinflated their assets. But I really want to come on to Manchester City and their nonsense in a minute. Because basically, the Premier League is picking both, out the both sides of its arse here. And this is what I want to show you right now. And bear with me, because I normally don't cover news like this. So uh, my video is not going to be as fluid as normal. Not that they're brilliant anyway. But let's have a little look at this next bit. We're talking about one rule. But this is the amount of rules that Man City have broken just on this what by the way there's loads more just on this one for all of these seasons but yet they weren't prosecuted um you know found guilty in any one of these seasons they let the charges go on and go on and go on again with no point deductions and this is what i'm, I'm going to come to if i was everton football club or the chairman of everton football club right now i'd be suing the premier league for not actually uh finding them guilty or innocent i don't i don't care which one it is guilty and innocent on any one of these charges from almost, what, 11, 13 years ago, from 2009, 2010, 13 years ago. And I would be saying, well, basically, you're um, you're not using the rules effectively. You're che cheatering, che uh, cheating, <clears throat> they are cheating, falling in slip. You're uh, treating Manchester City completely different than Everton Football Club. And, and to that effect, I'd be suing the Premier League and saying what you're doing is wrong. Now, I also believe that they're not going to have the full 10-point deduction. They're going to start with the full 10-point deduction, and they're going to go backwards as they appeal. And they'll probably end up with maybe anywhere from 7 to 9. They won't get the full 10. They'll go, oh, yeah, we'll work with you here. But that's just the start of the um, uh, the ones from Manchester City. You've got loads more here. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on and on and on. If they had the points deductions, you'd be shocked of how many Premier Leagues they probably wouldn't have won. But of course, they didn't do that. They gave them a medal and, I don't know, and patted them on the head because they have way more money. It's like when Manchester City and Paris Saint-Germain were getting threatened by financial fair play of UEFA. Both of them came together and told UEFA, we've got more money than you. We'll just take you to court until you've got no money left. So do what we say. And they went, OK, um, which is completely utterly corrupt. And they'll go, oh, no, legally, we didn't say that. Yeah, but that's what you actually meant. It doesn't matter what you actually tried to do legally. What you That's what you were doing. You were bullying them in court. And everybody knew behind the scenes. They were just saying, well, we've got more money than you. Keep fighting us. Find out what happens. But I, do I think that Everton should have a point deduction for what they did? Yeah, yeah, probably. And I'd probably give them three points. That, that's probably what I would do. Because that would probably be reasonable on one charge. And here's the other part about that. I'd also let that to be appealable again. Because remember, it's the sustainability of their assets. Now... That means that they've come to, um, so let's just say you uh, pick anything that you like and I like, or anything. Pick a video game, pick a, you know, 1970 Star Wars Millennium Falcon toy, right? Um, someone's going to go, oh, that's worth 300 quid. And the other guy's going, oh, no, that's worth a thousand quid, mate. A thousand quid. Well, that's what they're arguing over here. Uh, Everton is saying that the, uh, the Millennium Falcon is worth a thousand quid, and the other guy's going, nah, mate, it's only worth 300. That's the difference in the, the argument here. So it depends on who's valuing the assets to say whether or not it's sustainable or not, or they've actually spent more money on the asset or pledged more money on the asset than it was actually worth. So it's all just basically, meh, you know, kind of up in the air. But for the Manchester City ones, they, they can go on for decades and they still haven't even prosecuted them yet. So I'd be all over them because I'll tell you what's going to happen to Everton. They're going to say that the clubs that got kicked out of Premier League when this was happening with Everton, they're going to say Everton should have lost the points then and Everton cheated then and they'll sue Everton and the Premier League um, for getting them kicked out of the Premier League because it should have been Everton. So that's going to happen as well. This stuff isn't going to stop. And the, like the fact that they're not dealing with this Man City uh, stuff for over 13 years is massive corruption. Absolute massive corruption. No one talks about it, though, because, of course, Gary Neville loses his job at Sky Sports. If he did, how dare he talk about corruption? But uh, I'll let you uh, have a little think about it and tell me what you think in the comments below, guys. I'll see you next time on Cash Talks Football. Thank <music> you.